Hey there, guys. So today we have another review, and this is a beer from El Pothecary uh, from Bend, Oregon. This is their, it's actually called, the beer formerly known as Latash. Uh, I'll just call it Latash. Uh, this is a really interesting brewery. This is uh, actually, first of all, they recently got distributed in New York. I actually don't know if it will continue, but really insane that this small brewery uh, randomly came to New York. Uh, they're actually a top 15 rated brewery on Untapped. And they're a sort of a brewery that's pretty interesting. Their uh, goal is to do sort of wine and champagne kind of fermentation. I will say the, the bottles that got to New York are really expensive. They're <laughs> retailing at $47, which is insane. Uh, but top rated brewery, uh, can't wait to dig in some, some of this beer. So huge shout out to my friend uh, Chris for um, you know, offering this bottle. So Latash is their quote unquote table sour. Uh, lactobacillus added, but it is all open fermentation. Really interesting brewery in the sense that they want their beers to sit into uh, sit in oak as much as possible. Mashing in oak, sitting in oak. It, this this beer actually has been sitting in oak since August of 2014, and it was bottled December 1st of 2015. So it's been sitting in oak for a year, dry hopped uh, a year, uh, a month. Sorry. And they named their fooders. So uh, all, uh, Anders was the barrel that it sat in a month for, a year for. And Jackson was the barrel it sat in a month for. So really interesting that they named their fooders or barrels. Uh, cool stuff. So let's dig in. So the beer comes in a medium to deep gold kind of color, medium gold. Um, nice kind of uh, carbonation on that. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, stone fruit. Stone fruit for days, apricot, like unripened apricot to um, unripened nectarine. Tart qualities, a little bit of lemon zest. It smells very inviting. Uh, despite the open fermentation, mixed fermentation they're doing, they're doing, they're letting all the bugs in from their local Bend, Oregon kind of air. It doesn't smell too funky. Um, without a fruit addition, it actually smells uh, very fruity. That's really awesome. There's no fruit addition. Awesome stuff. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Sharper front with the lacto. Um, you don't t smell it too much, but it really is a nice kind of like medium to medium plus kind of puckering tart lacto. Lemon. What is that? It's like almost like a dried lemon. There you go. If you let a lemon sit out for too long, sort of gets shriveled. You bite into that. It sort of has that dried lemon kind of quality, not too much juice behind it, but sort of that lemony kind of thing. Hints that stone fruit coming through. A little bit, again, of that unripened, um, even a plum thing. So yeah, maybe like a pluot, that kind of green plum kind of thing. Um, you're also getting a little bit of unripened apricot uh, nectarine kind of thing. Prickly carbonation, bright carbonation, smacks the top of the palate, but it's dry. <laughs> this beer, by the way, is 7.4%. I would never have guessed that. It drinks very wonderfully. It's a very, uh, very much tastes like a table beer. Nice kind of tart quality, but it restrains itself. As you drink it more, the oak comes through, a little bit of weedy malt. Hints of little, little hints of like earthiness and funk underlying the beer, uh, but it dries it really nicely. I mean, I taste nothing afterwards. It's really clean and dry. Amazing stuff. So that's for rating. Awesome. <laughs> it's so balanced. It, it reminds me of Phil Farmstead in the sense that it's so refined and balanced. It's definitely different, a different kind of beer because this sits in barrels. It has um, spontaneous fermentation. It's again, a very different beer, but in the mindset of how to bank a beer, it reminds me of that. It is subtle throughout. It you know pushes flavors a little bit, but pulls back on certain flavors. Um, just an awesome sour you'd love to have all the time, despite the $47 uh, retail um, tag on this beer. Loving this. Oh. 89 minus, 89 minus. Huge fan of this beer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's insane that there's no fruit in this. Um, 
it's just really well done. Uh, the champagne kind of like carbonation, secondary fermentation um, in this bottle, prickly carbonation hitting the back of the palate and all those wonderful, uh, wonderful qualities in this beer. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.